this was a gift from work. This is so. I want to fly free to the high sky around the world with you every single day. I hope you. I have not spoke to you guys for a while. I am 32 weeks and two days pregnant, exhausted, is an understatement, had a midwife on Monday which was the 13th I believe of February and she said the baby's head down already and the head's right between my pelvis and there's a chance, there's a possibility, there's a high chance the baby might come out less. So now, so I'm running around like a headless chicken trying to sort out the hospital bag and everything which it's time to do that anyway but now I'm a little bit under more pressure to do it as Savannah was 40 weeks and 2 days when she was born so she was full time but I'm determined to keep this baby in me for 5 more weeks so at least the baby's full time so tomorrow I'm going to Birmingham with my best friend Grace I do baby shopping. I do have like stuff here, which is what are these bags? Things have been gifted to me. I'm just loved from work and like people that I know that I'm close to and speak to. And obviously, some bits I've started buying myself because my work was right next to Primark. But I'm gonna sort what I've got because generally I forgot what I've bought. I've got bought some personalised stuff. I bought it online came like a few weeks ago and I just put it away I've not even washed it because I want to wash like, like a one load and like all the whites and stuff separate I don't just want to wash a single blanket type of thing um, but yeah I'll do that now I'll go through with everything show you some things I left work my last shift was on 5th of February which was a Sunday it was a very emotional shift um, I walked in and I wasn't allowed to walk in the office and I didn't think much of it I was like Mm, okay that's weird I just thought maybe like a meeting like every manager just turned up because sometimes he can do that so I was like oh every manager must be in there I'm not allowed okay and then three staff members gather around me I was like okay you can open it now and I was like hmm. and I opened it I'm gonna insert a video here and oh my god I cried I absolutely cried my eyes out just started crying it was just so sweet balloons and oh it was just adorable and the card I got the loveliest card everybody signed it such nice words so I'm very grateful for everything and everybody that I work with there and just I felt appreciated maybe but this was like extra special so yeah I got a few things there we went to see life and then I had my little uh, spa treatment so I had my French nose toes done I did want to get my hands done as well but I'm doing like you know washing up shower washing my hair it's gonna wear off really quickly so I just thought I'm gonna leave it and if I need it painting I can just wax and prime my nails on or paint my nails then I had a little facial I was laying on my back really really dizzy at one point I thought I was going to pass out so I had to like sit up now and again and then I had my eyebrows dyed and waxed well not tinted and waxed and then I had my lashes tinted as well so I look like a bit more human when I have no makeup on and if you can see I put some concealer on but like I'm breaking up a little bit it's not cute what else have I done? I don't think I've done anything else really like, I'm just enjoying the time with Savannah at home. She started walking today. She started walking by herself. Like, she's been walking, like, learning how to walk. But she finally took her first steps, like, by herself without anybody being there to meet her. Oh, it's the cutest thing ever. I cried. Quite emotional. Hormones. Blame it on the hormones. And then, Birmingham tomorrow. I'm gonna take Savannah to my mum's because I don't wanna take her into Birmingham. It's gonna be too much for me, too much for her. And like going up and down in elevators with push chair and waiting in the queues and it's just a no from me. It's a no from me. So she's gonna chill with her little uncle and my mum 
got a maternity photo shoot on the 5th of March, which I'm very excited for. I have ordered two dresses. I don't know what colour scheme to go for yet. Still thinking of it. I've ordered Savannah's outfits as well, just in case. Mess around with it a little bit. Oh! Then I've got next week, I'm going out with my friend Jess. Another bestie of mine since school. And um, we're going for an afternoon tea with mocktails. So that will be really nice. So I'm currently trying to treat myself, trying to enjoy time with Savannah, like pamper myself and make myself feel nice. And it's needed. It's not easy. I feel like a whale. It can get hard sometimes, but it's okay. It's worth it. I'm gonna get the baby at the end of it. I just wish I, wish I knew when, when the baby was coming. You know what I mean? It would be nice. It would be nice to know. Just tell me. But it's a waiting game. But as long as it's after five weeks, I've got no problem with that. Right, so I'm just gonna go through these bags. I need to know what I need. Actually, I need to write it down. I cannot find anything to write on, so we're gonna write on an envelope. But should be enough. So long as I sleep, so I don't really wanna mess around in the room and look for my notebook. I've got like a whole notes thing on my phone. Obviously, I'm recording this. This is like two brush toothpaste, like little travel size bottles. Here. Right, so we got three to six months. Oh, yeah, I was thought ahead. So this was one of the presents from one of the girls and um, her partner and their little son. So cute. Um, they came to my work quite often, but I knew them from my college days. Yeah, so she got me these. They're like little baby girls, but they're three to six months. That is very nice. At the minute, I'm focusing on, I want to get some newborn stuff. And then I want to get like more zero to three months. Savannah was nine pound two. She lasted in newborn stuff for like a week. But because there's a chance this baby might come early, I need to be prepared for newborn. I don't want to. I know they're going to it, but I want it to fit nicely. You know what I mean? So I need to see how much newborn stuff I've got, and then we can work with that. This was a gift from work. This is so cute. Zero to three months. Like little baby um, little tops. I love these that they open all the way. They just start small and fragile when they're born. I'm putting things over their head. It scares me. So when I can just open it up, put the baby on top, arm, arm, close, done, sorted. So that's the zero to three months. So we put that on the side. Work also got me some bloody socks which are going in my hospital bag, keep my feet warm, cute. The girl also got me some mittens, which is a must, which is a need, like, just little things like that are so thoughtful. Like, that's probably something I would have forgot, but no. So that is an item from me. Right, that bag is done. Savannah's mouth is grass was grey because I got mostly things like in grey and stuff because I was hoping for a boy. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for a boy. Got my boy. So now I can use the grey mouse's basket again for this little one. Like it was either white or grey and I went with grey. So I've got like a grey little um, <coughs> A little blanket so it's like breathable and not putting on these little holes in it and whatnot. It's very soft actually, I've opened this already. Did I? No, I did. Oh, yeah, I opened it already. It's nice and soft. I don't like the rough ones. I feel like I have bought a rough one. I feel like this one. No, this is soft as well. I think I did buy a rough one on accident, but I'm not going to use that. I've got another one in blue. And this one's really, really soft. This one's cute. I just love blankets. cutest thing ever. So I've got a hat, Teddy Coy on it, the baby's name. First one is in grey. So cute. Look how tiny. Look how tiny it is. Oh. And then we've got this one, knitted one. I read that the knitted ones are better. 
because like they can stretch more and things so I thought I'd give it a go it is feeling a bit rough but I'll give it a wash I hope I don't drink it I'll give it a wash it says hello world in grey which is very cute as well and it's just like so cute I've got this little set from as that first size oh this is a new one we've got a new one this was six pounds you can see and it says born in 2023 so tiny and brand new and it comes with these little hats i love hats with like little ears and stuff i'm not a fan of the hats with like the knots obviously that's just my preference you do you but i love the hats with little ears i think it just makes them look so cute so this hat is massive when I have a big head but yeah this is what I've got so cute so that's we've got a new one that goes in a different pile also I've got this hat this is like the cutest thing ever it does look a bit big as well so I'll probably give it like a month or so until it'll fit in it's just so cute I just love the little ears the strings, so when like you're moving the head like this, that the, the hat stays on. And the strings is a must. Oh, another bear. A little, little legend. And this one, the trousers are got the clothes, so the footsies can stay warm, which is so cute. This one, what you just thought I'd buy? Zero to three. Banging. Water wipes. Oh, oh yeah. So this was one of the first things I bought. Actually, now this is the one. This is the first thing that I bought. And this is zero to one months. So ten pounds, yeah, fifty-six centimeters. So this is from Primark, and it was. Where are you? Twelve pound for bargain comes with like a little bib um hat again bear <coughs> and the what is it and it comes with like a little jumper like a little cardigan thing the buttons little trousers and a um, sleep suit and it's just got like little bears all over it and it's just so cute oh it's just adorable so this is a newborn let me put that here I feel like I've got a first outfit, but if I see something tomorrow as a first outfit, I'm not going to be up to three months. Um, yes, I got uh, sleep suits also from Primark. £7, three packs. They are adorable as well. You can see the picture. So cute. So that's zero to three. Zero to three pile. Savannah has a toy. It, I'll pull it. I'm gonna play one now, ain't you? Okay. Be quiet. Oh, perfect. Right. So one has this, but she has, this is a star, and then this is pink. So it's Minnie Mouse. She's got, and it's her comfort toy. So she, when she goes to sleep, she needs to have it, and. She likes the feel of it and she strokes it on her face and stuff. So she doesn't have a blanket but she has a toy. She has broke the string because she used to pull it so much. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this baby the same one. It's only fair, it's only, you know, nice. Uh, this was £10. So that is cute. Very cute, very nice. Oh, then I've got these little socks from Primark. They're like little, um, Rattlers, what are they call metal socks. Ooh, my hair, my hair's everywhere. You know what? At least it's not falling out as bad as when I was pregnant with Savannah. So I am very happy. These little Vinnie the Pooh metal socks. They are so cute. Zero to six months. I don't think they'll fit his little feet straight away, but we'll get there. I don't know. One bag done. One. Right. Oh, this dog's basically nappies. 
I got Matthew's new baby first size. I didn't get newborn. But now I'm thinking I might have to get like a little pack just in case. It should fit anyway. But yeah, I need to get that on my list, but I'm gonna do that after. No, not tomorrow. This I got from work as a present. In my hundred percent bag, bag it goes. It's like a boyfriend pyjama set, so it's like unbuttoned, so you can use it to do skin to skin, breastfeed, and it's just comfy. And they got me in a size large, which will be like nice and loose on me. Because in Primark, you usually get like a medium, sometimes I can get a small as well. Sizes are just ridiculous. Every shop I'm a different size, but you're definitely a. Uh, I might get another one of these tomorrow actually in a darker colour. If you know, you know. What are these? Oh, I got these from. We went to IKEA. I absolutely forgot we went to IKEA. I got these from IKEA. These are a uh, muslin cloths. It's like little burp cloths, I'm guessing. Yeah. These were like £7. They're nice and like quite soft. 80% cotton, 20% viscose. Got some of these in grey. Got two of them. Cute. Little accessory. I got some flip flops because showers in the hospital aren't the best. And um, if I end up having a shower, it depends how long I stay there. If I do end up having a shower, I'll be using these one pound flip flops. I can chuck them after. They're actually comfy, not gonna lie. So, got some of them. And then I got, oh, I forgot, I got this actually. This was on sale, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, five pound for ten bargain. It's like this shirt. I don't know if you can see. It's very creased. It's been in a bag. Got like this button, massive, oversized buttoned shirt. So I might be wearing this. I can give me birth. Who knows? So that's for me. Oh yeah, there we go. Which ones I don't know, probably a black one actually. I'll get that dirty. Now, what I've got quite a lot like, I say a lot, it is a lot to me because I'm not one of them people to go absolutely crazy. They're little, they don't move, they're not on the like, you know, they're not crawling around on the floor like they sleep, sleep, poop, eat, and be sick type of thing. We have a washing machine, we've got a dryer. So I really don't need a lot of gloves. I kind of learned it from Savannah, which Savannah I did go a bit crazy. But um, actually I've got some clothes from Savannah as well because I've got some Winnie the Pooh stuff. So I need to check what size of those. I think I really need any more of zero to three, maybe something. I'll probably pick something up anyway. I'll say I don't need it and I'll pick it up anyway because it's cute. Ooh, Grace has got quite a few bits as well but I think she said she got three to six months which my friends are getting me prepared for the future. Oh another thing I got these it's a blanket it's like really soft and fluffy but one says this and the other one I couldn't leave her out Cute. matching little blankets I will find a way to match them if I can any way possible I'll match them that is it I think you know what I've done really well I don't need that much maybe I need more things for myself like for the hospital bag and like loose of clothing and to feel more comfortable but it's I'm pretty much sorted. I just need to sort the hospital bag out. I'll do a um, make a separate video on that probably. If I have time. If I can find time. But yeah. So what I'm looking like, everybody at work. Well, not everybody, but quite a few people commented that I'm too small for the mums that I am. If you're one of them people like comment on the size of the mum, oh you're so big, you're so small, blah blah blah. Don't do it. 
respectfully don't do it it's, it's not nice i got to midwife so it used to be every six weeks now it's every three weeks um i've got an appointment in three weeks well less than three weeks now because i'm doing my birth plan and she measures my belly and she says you're perfect so she says i'm perfect my belly's perfect like you know what i mean we get it checked so we'd appreciate if you didn't comment on it because it made me feel crappy I was going to use another word but it made me feel crappy and it made me feel a bit sad and like I don't need to know like my placenta's at the front as well so that can affect it like obviously because baby's a bit further back to have been but <sighs> just don't do it just be a bit more respectful just say congratulations you look well that's what we want to hear you look well you know what i mean so but yeah this is what i'm looking like oh. um see 32 weeks it's very very hard but we are getting there with savannah i wasn't that massive either i did pop in like the last last few weeks which i think will happen now as well which I don't mind because I'm already struggling with not like, sleeping and just moving. But yes, I had a little catch up with you guys. I'll try and record some stuff tomorrow. Video diary. Keep you updated, guys. Keep you in the loop. So, on that note, we're done for today. It was nice talking to you and I'll see you in the next clip. You've been